everybody and welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey. Today I am doing a collaboration with Heidi Sonbull of Happily Thriving Heidi. She put on a living room makeover challenge with myself and a bunch of other YouTubers and I'm going to post a link down below for you to check it out. So <laughs> let's start with the before of this room. This room is my sunroom and it is, it was always kind of like a storage area and never really functional. Since I do sell uh, furniture and antiques, this was kind of like my workshop area where I kept all my unfinished project projects as well as my finished projects, things waiting to be sold, things that uh, I took to antique markets that didn't sell, stuff like that. So it <laughs> looked like an episode of Hoarders. I also recently got a whole bunch of free furniture. So the entertainment center, the big buffet, the antique buffet that I have in here, all that stuff I recently got for free from people who were moving away. And I'll show you that <laughs> as we get there in the project. But uh, it looks so much better now. I can't wait for you guys to see the end. So stick through to the end of the video to see the finished product. The cabinet in the middle is an antique from a friend of mine who is moving and needed to get rid of some furniture. She very generously gave that to me for free and I'm going to fix it up nice with some of that restore finish. And then the outer entertainment center part, I'm going to use some gel stain and stain it darker so that all of the woods appear to be that beautiful dark antique wood together and it won't look so out of place. <laughs> Right now it looks really out of place and the camera is actually making it look much worse than it is in real life. But I got that entertainment center that's on the outside. I got it for free also. A bunch of people are moving right now in our area and they're just getting rid of stuff and I'm just getting lucky and picking it up. The left side of the cabinet is finished except I have to flip these doors upside down and paint the bottom. I just didn't want to get it on my floors. But the color matches pretty well. In the camera it's kind of looking like it's lighter, but in person it's actually more of a deep stain to it. I wonder if maybe if I go closer. Uh, well, <laughs> take my word for it, it's a pretty close match. But I took the doors off and the hardware off so that I could stain nice and uniform and not get the stain on the hardware. And then this had a piece of glass in it that I took out and I'll put that back in when it's done. But I wanted to show you the product. This is the gel stain that I'm using. There are a lot of different brands and they're pretty much all the same as long as you don't buy like a Walmart brand or an Ace Hardware brand. Um, buy the real name brands. But it comes in a gel form. Looks like chocolate pudding actually. And I suggest using a really bristly brush and it needs to be one that you're gonna throw away because this gel is really hard to wash out. This is actually drying faster than I thought it would, but normally gel stain takes a long time to dry, like 24 to 48 hours. But this is drying really quickly, and I think it's because of our weather is really dry today. But here you can see this side is all done. And I'll show you really quick how I do this. So you just get a little bit on the tip of the paintbrush and brush it on really thick and then you're going to just spread it out, thin it out to your desired depth of color. 
So if you want it to be darker or lighter, you just spread it out thinner, or you can go back over it with a rag and wipe it off. Since this does take a while to dry, you have a lot of time to work with it to get the desired color that you want. And this also is like a no prep type of material. So the only prep you need to do, and probably not even that much, is clean the surface. Because any dirt that's under there will be trapped under there forever. But it's really simple. It's one of the easiest ways to stain over wood, especially if you have like a veneer, like a fake wood. This will go over it and it'll still look like wood. There's something about it, it's like, it's like you can see through it, but it's really thick at the same time. But it keeps the wood grain showing through. It's a great way to update a piece of furniture without doing too much work. I finished the second side and I put the doors outside to dry in the sun. Well, that's it. That is my finished sunroom. Um, I guess in a way finished, not completely finished because there's quite a bit of decorating to do in this room that I didn't get to do yet. The reason why I didn't go out and just buy a whole bunch of decor pieces to finish this room off is because I like to do things on a budget. So instead of just going out and picking everything in one shopping trip, I like to wait and collect things over time, fix them up and make them how I would like them instead of just buying it from the store as much as I love everything that's inside Hobby Lobby I do enjoy making it from something that I thrifted instead of buying it brand new it kind of gives it more of a story I guess 
but I definitely, definitely need to find a really neat antique mirror to go in this area behind me where I had that painting on top of the antique buffet. I'm waiting to find the perfect mirror for that spot. Um, obviously, it could have a TV there someday <laughs> eventually, but that'll be way down the road. And then I also would like to find some more white decor pieces. Since there is a ton of dark wood in this room, I need to find more white decor or make more white decor in this room to put on all the shelves. And I also would like to move all of our board games into this room. So those are things I would like to do in the future. So maybe I will make some videos of those small transformations in this room. But for now, this is all I have for you. And thank you so much, Heidi Sample, for putting on this collaboration. I hope you enjoyed this room. Don't forget to look down below for the playlist for this collaboration because there are a lot of other YouTubers fixing up their living rooms too. I'll see you next time. Bye!